If you can't live without thrills and just dream of a new dose of adrenaline, then the extreme attraction on China's Yushan Mountain is for you. Here come and daredevils, wishing to prove to themselves and the world their own fearlessness, and the weak of spirit people who dream to get rid of inner insecurity. Yushan Mountain is an effective pill for fears and an effective vitamin for self-affirmation. Yushan Mountain is a sacred Chinese mountain that unites five petal-shaped peaks and is located near the city of Xi'an in Shaanxi province. There are many fascinating hiking trails, among them there are cable car rides and hikes. Curious travelers can reach each of the five peaks of Yushan, south, north, west, east and central, if they wish. The most convenient way is to take the cable car up from the foot of North Mountain to the top. The road to the West Peak is also safe. The ascent to the North Peak on foot, starting from the eastern entrance, though winding and steep, requires a lot of physical preparation, but is not too risky, as it is laid on fairly wide stone steps. But there is a tourist route that can make the most impressionable tourists faint, it is the transition from the northern summit of Huishan to the southern. Some hikers, after taking the first step, literally stiffen with terror, unable to unlock their cramped fingers and move out of the way. This is not surprising. The road is built along vertical steep cliffs and is known as the Trail of Death, for a reason to fall from narrow planks into bottomless abyss would mean certain death, but the number of tourists, eager to make a risky ascent, does not decrease. The hikers step on the boards nailed over the abyss and move to the summit hugging the rock or holding onto the chains firmly soldered to the stone wall. No rails or barriers, just you, the stray wind, and hundreds of meters under your feet. Of course, some kind of safety equipment is present all daredevils wear a belt with a rope and a carabiner on it, so you can cling to the safety rope, stretched along the route. The reward for brave tourists will be not only a wonderful panorama opening from the south summit, the highest of all five petals flower Huishan, but also a bouquet of wild emotions that are experienced by the overcoming climbers. The news that the ascent is not a one-way trail, but a round trip, sounds like a thunderstorm to many hikers, but the descent is usually easier. Believing in happy omens couples in love leave on the top of the conquered mountain symbols of unquenchable feeling, shiny locks and red ribbons, the abundance of which blurred in the eyes. Each of those who have conquered the dangerous trail gladly shares the unusual feeling of climbing, at first it is panic fear, and then the delightful euphoria of not giving up, managing, overcoming, winning. The granite peaks of the Huishan Massif rise high above the northern plains, 120 kilometers east of Xi'an. It is one of the five sacred mountains in China, and in their system was called Ziyu, the western peak. It was especially revered by the Taoists. In total, Huishan has five peaks. The highest is south, 2154 meters, then east, 2096.2 meters, west, 2082.6 meters, central, 2037.8 meters, and north, 1614.9 meters. The shape of the location of these peaks resembles a lotus flower. Perhaps because of this the mountains and got their name. The ascent to Huishan, which is about 14 kilometers, is very dangerous. In some places there is no road, the steps are simply hollowed out in the steep rock. In ancient times, Huishan was called the most precipitous mountain in the Middle Kingdom. The most famous section of the trail is the Green Dragon Rib, with chasms on either side of the steps. It takes six to nine hours to get from Huishan village to the top of the mountain, but you can stay overnight both in the village itself and in fairly modest hotels along the way up. By the way, the massive chains were bolted to the walls of the mountain relatively recently for Western tourists. And before Huishan climbed simply on planks. It is good that at least in some parts of this amazing route chains are not attached to the rock itself and hung in the form of railing on the outside of the path. 